He has traveled around the country bringing these programs to packed houses at universities, performing arts centers, and theaters just like this one. Let's welcome Scott Fryman. So what do you mean when you say you're deconstructing the Beatles? I like to take apart the creative process and look at the individual components, look at the personalities, look at the influences, and then put it all back together. Deconstructing Sgt. Pepper a fake band where the Beatles can pretend to be someone else. They can be relieved of this persona and they can try lots of different things. What was so great about the Beatles was how they worked as songwriters and in the studio. That's the really exciting part where these songs came to life. Paul gets right up to the microphone next to Ringo and Ringo delivers one of the best performances he's done, including hitting that high note. So in a way, you can say that Ringo did get high with a little help from his friends. <laughs> The Beatles were the start of everything. They changed and pushed forward every album. Part of what I love to find out is why did they change? What was making them change? Will you ever get to the end of finding out things about the Beatles? I, I don't think so. I think <laughs> the songs don't get old. There's always something there.